I starting it off? Mm-hmm. Oh, what's up, guys? We have a really cool review. But before we get to that, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get to see all of our controversial videos, too, like which is the best steel. Now, that should get you going. So I feel like I need a bell to pick up and ding every time we say hit that bell. That's just my game. I can make that happen. And I'm going to. Ding! Yes. <laughs> um, so... This is really, really cool because when we were at Smoky Mountain Knife Works, they made a little special deal for us. And we kind of asked, like, what's popular right now? What's super duper hot? We have our own ideas, but, you know, sometimes we get a little lofty in our ideas. Right. Well, everybody's got their own taste. A little a little bow tie, you know, when we need to be a little bit more working gloves sometimes. Oh, right? yeah. And I don't own I any... See what you did there. Hey, thank you. I don't own any denim, <clears throat> so this is the closest thing I have, which this vest is denim-esque, um, because apparently denim's hot right now. Yeah. Apparently people are liking denim, and I like it too. It's like a little blue chambray going on. Oh, I don't even know what that means. I'll have to Google that later. <laughs> um, so, the QSP is hot, and we, <laughs> man, it's like, we live this grail life, and we're over here like 30 bucks for this level. Like, right. What? Are you serious? Well, it makes right you now? it makes you sit down and think. Like, am I being like tricked? <laughs> <laughs> we love our grails, right? And we we just do we dig that. We dig the community. There's no replacing that, nor should there ever be. But you know, when when you have a Mustang GT running with Ferraris for half or a quarter of the price, that's the world we live in, actually. Right is we actually have some sports cars out there. And we just always related to that because like we get performance. And um, when you get this level of performance from this QSP, and this is the Penguin, right? Yes. This is a hot knife, guys. And um, Smoky Mountain Knife Works was... Um, you know, let me just yeah. point out. Oh, go ahead. You know, we, were, we're, we just did the Christmas in July thing. And, uh, you know, we did our kind of intro video. We're carrying those knives. One of the knives that we did for Christmas in July was an American-made Gerber, like a hundred and twenty-dollar knife-ish. The box this QSP came in is ten times nicer than the box. Yeah, it's a good and, point. And I know you don't buy a knife for the box, but presentation is everything. Yep. So this is really cool. This is a denim knife. And I guess it's denim micarta. Yeah. Right? And that is really... Oh, wow. Look at this. It comes with an actual info card. How cool is that? And it has your spec sheet. Um, they don't... I was looking at it. I don't think they filled that out. <laughs> they they didn't. Um, and there's our $37 price um, right there. So QSP. Maybe you're supposed to check what you've got that it's my card well but it says it, it, it on the blade it seems like in the box you should do it yourself i guess there but anyway kind of a neat touch right it they should probably check it off but for the for the price we'll we'll let them get away with what that. a blade what a blade so you're looking at a sheep's foot blade and when you talk about d2 d2 razor sharp and once again and the gr grind lines. the grind lines I'm not going to throw them under the bus, but I was at Smoky Mountain Knife Works and I had a purpose. I was going to buy a grail knife. And um, my idea was, hey, I want to go and see a particular brand that has some hot stuff. Um, and their complete stone wash was spot on, including the blade, um, but I wanted more pop. Um, but their grind lines were atrocious. They looked like a secondary thought. Um, this right here, and one of the cool things about an awesome knife is they'll have on the flats, grind lines going the opposite direction. They have that on this QSP. They have Microtech-esque grind lines for the main uh, grind, the flat grind leading down to the bevel. And that is a flat grind. That is not a hollow. Um, so nice, durable design blade. And... You are talking about the proportions of this thing are just phenomenal. And, you know, it reminds me a lot of the Artisan. The finish is really great on there. Yeah. And, you know, it has standoffs similar to the Artisan. The Artisan came razor sharp. Um, you know, you have an opportunity for a cool lanyard there. The deep carry pocket clip. Guys, 
what a phenomenal knife. And I think it was, I think the retail on that guy is under 40 bucks or around 40 bucks. It's in that neighborhood. Mirrored liners, milled, jimping there on the uh, lock. And it comes in a ton of flavors. No, no cutouts, but that's fine. A ton doesn't of. doesn't need them. It doesn't need them. It, it doesn't weigh much. It, it, whatever color you want, they pretty much have. And they're all themed after birds. This is the penguin, right? Yes. Yep. Interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Well, let's jump into it, guys. Let's talk about it. Ergos. Ergos. Yes, Ergos. So this is definitely EDC knife. You're looking at around a three. Is you jumping on the spine of that knife? Um, you can call it that. It, it technically is jimping. That's more jimping than the, the Kalaman had. Well, that's true. It's slick. <laughs> it's 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 well finished jimping. It's the idea of jimping. It is a three inch blade, which is what I thought. Um, generous thumb studs. Yes, generous thumb studs. Um, I mean, deployment is silky smooth. I don't know. Will it do a detent drop? Oh, yeah. It does a detent drop. I know it's a nerdy thing, but gosh, big companies. Or Grail companies. I mean, this is a thing. We like to nerd out over D10 drops. I don't know. It's it's cheesy maybe, but it's just an aspect of owning a cool knife. Um, so, yeah, Ergos are solid. I mean, EDC Ergos, it's, gosh, you know, it's an 8 out of 10 for sure. Um, doesn't uh, have extreme jimping. Um, you know what? No, let me take it back. Make it a 7 out of 10. The jimping would actually take it to the next level. Um, I... I it just doesn't have that. It is a little small in the hand, yeah. but I do, I do like the width, right? Um, an EDC blade should probably be about three and a quarter and then get that handle length a little closer um, to a full hand. So let me see if they show us. This is right at four inches, probably. I mean, you're you're almost there. It's a three and a half. You got a lanyard, you'll be fine. Yep, exactly. So, but yeah, it's probably about a seven out of ten for sure. Um. I'm going to go 6 out of 10. It is comfortable. No no question. Only reason I'm, why I'm giving it a 6 is, like you said, the jimping is, mm -hmm. is there, but it's almost non-existent. Um, it's non-functional jimping. I, I wish there was a little bit more ergonomics mm -hmm. uh, in it this. Is, it is square. Yeah. With it being so small, if there was just like some minor little choils there just for your fingers to lay on, uh, yeah. that, that would help. But for the money, guy. Yeah, right? for the money, for sure. And then that takes us to tactical. Yeah. Well, it's not very tactical. <laughs> yeah, this is a... Can we can we give it a zero out of ten? <laughs> because you could, you know... Right. I, guess I mean, if you push hard enough, it's going to go in. But Yeah, but it's not a tactical knife. It's an EDC knife. It's a sheep's foot. It's not a one cliff. Um, because it does not have the... the you know, worn cliff is about half the length of the blade to taper. Oh, here. This is... This is the top 20%. This is a Warncliffe. Yeah, this is a sheep's foot. Right. So, tactical, EDC. Yeah, I mean, it's a 2 out of 10 for tactical. I mean, I don't know. I just, you can't give it a tactical. It's not designed for fast deployment. Right. It's a deep pocket carry, so you got to get in. To I mean, in a pinch, it. it's going to cut. It's going to poke, but. Uh, yeah, it's not a tactical knife. This is an EDC. Knife. Yeah. 2 out of 10. Yeah. I would go, I would say 2 out of 10 as well. Yep. Um, it came razor sharp, though. Because, I mean... It's going to cut pinch, whatever you touch. Yeah, in a pinch, it's going to cut. It's going to stab. Um, but it's I not wouldn't, tactical. I wouldn't prefer to do it with this knife. Yeah, certainly not. Wouldn't be what I'd be reaching it's, for. And, uh, you know, I don't know what the... what. wonder what the lock, lock up is. I doubt it's titanium. No, no, that's stainless, I'm sure. That's what it looks like. So, I mean, under duress, I'm not sure how... Well, this lockup would handle, um, but based on the price point, it's a copper washer. I, I'm not gonna go trying to shove this into something. Yeah. <laughs> it's a copper washer. It's not Teflon. Um, you know, it's not ball bearing, but it's so smooth. It doesn't really need to be ball bearing. Copper works fine. You just get some McMurtry's EDC oil if you need to uh, make it even smoother. Mm, yeah, link in description below. <laughs> and uh, yeah, wow, that is that is awesome. So, yeah, not a tactical knife, though. No, but it makes up for it in EDC. Yes, it does. It is an EDC knife. All right, cool factor. No, brand EDC. 
Oh, sorry. Well, <laughs> we said so much about EDC <laughs> during the tactical phase. So, you know, how good is, is it at EDC? Yeah, gosh, guys, this is like an 8 out of 10 for me. It's yeah. lightweight. Um, let's see how much it actually weighs. Three and a third um, ounces. So almost at that perfect three ounce mark, just a hair over. You wouldn't be able to tell much difference. Um, and that's because it has steel liners, right? Um, maybe had they hollowed out those steel liners, it would have given you that extra quarter ounce. But it doesn't matter. It feels good in hand. Right. You're, You're not going to notice this. Yeah. It, it's it's solid, issue. right? I'm not, I'm not too worried about a quarter of an ounce. You probably aren't either. So... Yeah, it's definitely an 8 out of 10. Uh -huh. It's specifically designed for EDC tasks. Fits in the hand well. It's a little small, so it's not as intimidating. And because it doesn't have a clip point or a tanto or a sax style blade, you're, or one cliff, it's not intimidating. No, it's not intimidating at all. Um, 8 out of 10 is a great number. Yep. Um, I mean, honestly, I feel comfortable going 9 out of 10. Uh, it's... Just very edc -able. Yeah. It's not intimidating. That blue jean even adds to it. Like, I think if it was black, it might add to the intimidation factor. But with this blue jean, it uh, it just seems like a friendly little knife. Like It's a working knife. I mean, it's denim. You have it in your jeans. You're cutting packages or opening packages yeah. or you know, breaking down boxes, whatever you're doing. That's going to serve you really well. Yeah. The nice thing is with that really, really wide <coughs> blade, with that narrow focus to the edge, that grind is so tall. It's almost a full flat and, and may as well be. That right there is a longer lasting design um, for a working edge. It's, How's it, that sharpening choil? Uh, excellent. I mean, it gets you, yeah. The edge of the blade gets you just a hair past the, uh, the scales, you know. And it's such an inexpensive knife if you get into the scales and you don't really um, but this will be a cool Instagram knife as well. A working knife. You're not ashamed to beat up and it looks good. I guess it's why they're so hot right now. Yeah. I, it's it's hard to imagine having this level of execution for such a small amount of money. And Smoky Mountain Knife Works has a ton of options. And we were just blown away when we handled it. D2, the grind lines. Man, the grind lines. The B-roll is really going to show that well. Um, and the... Um, the fact that it has that flat, that tall, wide blade and that flat grind means that even when it loses hair popping sharpness, which it came with, um, it's still going to work because it's such a small, thin wedge mm -hmm. that it's still going to go through which, and take you all day long. I bet you go work with this knife all day and it wouldn't get it. Adds to the EDC ability. It does. Now, cool factor. So, how cool, I mean... The cool factor goes up because it's so inexpensive. The cool factor is pretty high on this. Um, I would, for for the money, I'd give it like a, um, probably a six out of 10 for cool factor. And I know it just says pretty high, but for the money, I mean, this is Walmart price. Nice, yeah, it's, right. It's you can't find budget. it at Walmart. It's, it is a serious, <clears throat> it is at that budget level. Anybody in the United States of America with a job can afford that knife. Yeah, and you know, this is a knife that's not so, or a knife company that's not so arrogant that you'd never find it on sale. I guarantee if you keep an eye out on Smoky Mountain Knife Works or wherever they sell QSPs, um, you'll be able to get them on little, you know, quick sales. You know, Smoky Mountain Knife Works always has those little um, sales they have like every day where they drop them in their Instagram stories and stuff. Yeah. Um, so you could probably even get this cheaper. To yeah. be honest and there's you. several versions. They make a higher end <clears throat> version, costs a little bit more, that has. Um, 154 cm um, this one is the d2 and but you uh, could have fun with this it's cheap enough you could buy it and mod it and play with it and you could buy several and mix the scales up but it would be uh, cool cool factor i would say six out of ten yep, yep. um grind lines the grind micarta. lines take it with the, the denim micarta that's those are the two finished scales cool factors the scale the are finished liners um the mirrored liners is a cool touch yeah um, nice pocket clip. Yep. Like you kind of get a little bit into, you know, fancy knife almost. Yep. I mean, it, it has, I mean, it's, you it's a reasonably, yeah, for sure. It's a reasonably cool knife, right? It's, um, in the knife community, you're not going to win any popularity contests with it, but it's, it's reasonably cool. It's, it's got but some if, cool features. If you're just wanting a knife to use. Yes. That has good features. Yes. Um, and you, you know, and you don't mind it being an import, right? The quality is there, guys. Yeah, and Fabulous I'm not even sure quality. if it says. It doesn't even say on the blade where it's made. So. Yeah, 
which is a nice touch. Yeah. I, I appreciate it when they do that. Yeah. So overall. Yeah. Overall. Um, I mean, this is, this is going to be high for a budget blade. Gosh, it's a seven out of 10 for me overall because there's, it's because of the price point and the execution, you know, it, ha- so look, it has a polished spine. It has an opposite flow grind, which is a really good looking rough grind. And then it has a very precision microtech esque flat grind. And so you have three different levels on the blade and that is awesome. Yeah, that's really cool. I mean, that, I just, I just can't get over what you get for around 40 bucks or less, depending upon what you And my Carta. And my Carta. So there you yeah. go. Yeah, I agree with it. Seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. Yeah, exactly. It's a really high rating. It's up there with some uh, significant knives. Yeah, it's up there with some significant knives. So, um, I mean, look, for the price, you are going to struggle. This is one of those things, if you lose it, you'll be upset, but you can just go get another one. Right, yeah, it's not the end of the day. It's not like if you lost, uh, you know, Marfion. This is a knife (laughs) that you like to look at and you don't mind using or it's a knife that you know hey if oh and look check this out you can flip the pocket clip oh that's true yeah ambidextrous uh <clears throat> deep carry yeah cool design very cool, cool this design. is a knife that if you carry it you know it's a good beater knife or whatever you use it but you know hey you want maybe you want to evangelize the knife life and you know talk about the knife community to other people and what it's like to carry a knife this is a knife you pull out of your pocket and you give it to somebody yep and you, you know you can just go get another one yeah and it's a good knife it's a good starter knife it is and uh talk about giving it to somebody we're gonna give this knife away Ooh. so whoever watches this video <clears throat> right like subscribe do your deal and we are going to give you this you got a comment you got a comment or we're going we to pick, pick the top comment that's what we do um whatever it is you have to say whatever it is you want to say we pick the top comment based on our mood at the moment you've got the ability to get into a really cool budget knife perhaps enough so yeah we're going to give that guy away and excuse josh's allergies yeah Tennessee is the uh, allergy haven of the world. So um, no fever here. Don't be afraid. And plus you can't catch it through a camera, contrary to popular belief. Um, So there you go, guys. Thank you. Like, subscribe, do the deal. And as always, stay sharp. Yep, stay sharp. See you guys.